Yes, I'm still exhausted, but at least my balls are now dry and warm. So I will make this. I will not die here, I promise. Oops. <laughs> I just love these old frames where you can actually push your head out through the windows so much. Now you might be asking, what am I doing? Well, I'm taking the train from Stockholm, 17 hours north, for one of the adventures of this summer. I'll take you along. What time do you think it is? It is 1 a.m. and we are not even yet in the land of the midnight sun. I think it's time for me to say goodbye and head to bed and I'll see you again tomorrow in the land of the midnight sun. Abisko. It's quite as far north as you can get in Sweden and I'm going on a five-day hike so this video will be a little bit different than the ones that I usually make but I think you'll like it anyway just look at how beautiful it is and I haven't even started hiking yet yes that is snow also sorry for the wind noise I forgot to bring my microphone I'll talk less, show you more. Well, that didn't really happen. I talked a lot. But I think you'll enjoy this anyway. So, the plan for today is to walk about 35 kilometers. <sighs> right now it's perfect hiking weather. Not too warm, it's cloudy. But I think it will rain very, very soon. We'll see. I better keep the speed up if I'm going to be there before it's too late. So, if you think I am crazy, I can tell you that this crazy bastard is trying to run this trailer. That is crazy for real. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm keeping quite a good pace. And now I can see the house. It's right over there where I'll cook my lunch. So hungry. Give me food now. This is how the Sami people gather their reindeer these years. This year, look at this. <laughs> That was crazy. I had no idea. I did not plan to <laughs> end up in the middle of like trying to gather all the reindeers. In Sweden, it's the Sami people who owns the reindeer. And well, while I wouldn't call this method of gathering them very traditional, I guess you just gotta do what you gotta do to survive and make a living. I just passed the line where the trees stop to grow and just found the snow <laughs> first snow patch. It's going uphill now. Up up. I've been walking uphill for three hours. Just imagine the happiness where you see this. It's flattening it out. Ah <sighs> oh, finally. I, I guess I can't say that this is still fun, but it's still nice in some way. And it's all about keeping the mood high, so I'm trying to sing in that form. Like, Shana, Shelkumin, Ich will se bort i fjellen, 
Om jag hej kan finna dig så får jag ris till kvällen. So wait, I'm going to try to change my my trousers. Oh, oh, already so much better. Yes, I'm still exhausted, but at least my balls are now dry and warm. So I will make this. I will not die here, I promise. Oops. <laughs> Three kilometers left. I'm on my ultimate limit right now you know when you do like push-ups or sit-ups or whatever and you do them and you do them and then you cannot do you just feel you cannot do one more that is how I feel right now every step that is that is going up so I'm very very slow in other words but slow but steady There's supposed to be a trail here Will be fun. <laughs> I never thought I'd see that camera again. But sometimes you are just lucky. Lucky in the pouring rain. Okay, now we'll be getting almost getting wet now. <laughs> this hike was not only a challenge for the body but also for the mind. For the mind to keep telling you to keep walking, even though you have been walking for 30 kilometers, you are wet and so exhausted, and then you find yourself at a cataract where you have to go into it all the way up to your knees. You just have to keep walking. It's so close, but it feels so far. Right there. Uh, somewhere uh, there. But then I finally arrived and got to make this hiking food porn. Warm Snickers with whipped cream that had whipped itself by being in my backpack. Oh, what a day. As I feel right now, I don't, I'm not sure that I will be able to walk tomorrow. It hurts everywhere. Really, really bad. And with that, I say, Good night. Second day. I cannot say that I'm dry, but at least I'm not as wet as yesterday. I've been throwing away some wet stuff that I don't need. And I'm ready to start walking. My leg hurt, legs hurt as fuck, but I hope that they will feel better when I start walking and they'll start getting warm or something. I'll have uh, 25 kilometers to walk today. Uphill a bit and it will be snow, but there is a stop in the middle if I feel that it's just not possible. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. Oh, I have been too tired to film anything. Exhausted on the level of throwing up. Quite embarrassing, I've only been walking about a, a, 13 kilometers or something today, but my legs were totally destroyed after tomorrow. So now I'm in a very, very pretty place. Uh, there are quite some things that I could show you right now, but I'm just too tired. Let's skip the next day. Day three. Time to start walking. It's windy and a couple of minutes ago it was snowing, so it's very, very cold. I have everything that I brought on me right now. And I'm hoping that I will get warm. Oh, there is the snow. That I will get warm when I start walking.
<sighs> I'm in the shelter now on the most uh, on the top part, the highest point of this hike. It was windy, it was snowy, my feet are wet, but it was actually a little bit fun. Here we go again. It is when you sit between these big mountains on this huge plain that you kind of realize how small and insignificant you really are, how short our lives are in the, in the history of Earth and probably how insignificant our problems are. It's sublime. 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 It's great. In the same time, I think that hiking is a little bit like life in general. Sure, there might be vast plains, but we can cross them even though we're small. And sure, there might be high, high mountains, but if we want to be on the top, we need to start climbing, step by step. My hike took place in the beginning of July, but well, it wasn't really that much of summer weather. So when I arrived at the Singe Hut, I decided to chop up some wood and start a fire. That always helps. It's interesting how fast your sense of temperature changes. It's now like five, six degrees, but I'm in the sun and it's so warm. Anyway, it's the fourth day. Today I will take it slow and really see the nature. And I will film something that I have done the whole trip that was on my to-do for this, uh, for this traverse, for this hike. Just look at this view. I mean, how many times have I seen, how many times have I said, look at this view. But this view is great. I'm still at the hut, planning to take my, my boots. I put them on. They are not, they are not as they used to be. Let's look at this. Oh, they are falling apart. The to-do that I had was to drink water straight from a mountain creek, which was the way that you did get water through the whole hike. Clean and cold and nice. Parts of the hike went through the Abisko National Park, and I know that many of you watching my channel are from the USA, so you might be asking how much did it cost to enter this park? Well, nothing. I know that you have your rights that you are proud of, but one right that we have in Sweden that we are very proud of is our access to the nature, which is always for free. I thought I need to say goodbye to the mountains. So why not climb that small one? Because you can't beat this. Just imagine slipping the tent door open and seeing this in the morning. This is why camping is great. And now we have some uphill, wo <laughs> uphill walking to do. Just a little bit. 
Even though I might not have gotten the best weather, I still had a great time walking the 95 kilometers between Arbisco and Kabinikaise. When starting the hike, I had a lot of important things in mind that I thought I would think about during the hike, but really it was mostly just a great way to clear the mind. Just think about the trail ahead and relax. At least let the mind relax. After about half of my hike, I did fall and hurt my foot. So I thought that I had already would be walking on it for about 40 kilometers. And I decided to do something that I always wanted to do instead of walking the last 15 kilometers. is now a happy boy. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this adventure because this is the end and that you will come back and enjoy more adventures with me in the future. See you around! Bye! If you came this far please press the like button or and leave a comment. It doesn't take long but makes my day. <laughs>